Okay, good morning everyone. This is me, Rafa Rifan Ahmed. Uh, today we will talk about the health related quality of life, uh, WHO brief scoring. As uh, from last uh, one week, I was doing my own research and I using this tool. I searched a lot about the scoring, but I didn't found even a single good video about the scoring. So I searched my own and then finally I get a very good source about the scoring. So that's why I now I want to share it with you, like how can we use the WHO brief and how can we score it? It is a very good, uh, there is some very good shortcuts and uh, key formulas for scoring and very easy. You can score it even in uh, just two to three minutes after watching this video. Mm, now let's go to the uh, presentation. The, the content of this presentation is like, and this we will cover about the introduction about WHO brief a little bit, one slide, and scoring of individual domain, like how we score each uh, domains, then the global scoring, and then interpretation, how can we interpret it? Now, the little bit introduction about the WHO quality of life brief is, uh, it is actually derived or uh, from the WHO long form 100, WHO quality of life 100. It is uh, uh, because sometimes we use it from the large population in a large sample size. So it is very bit difficult to cover, uh, our, uh, to cover a very large sample by using such a long questionnaire. So that's why they uh, shorten it into 26 items, uh, which mirrors the four following domains, the physical domain, the psychological domain, the social relationship and environment. And what are in every like physical domain, they have seven items, psychological, they have six items, social three items, and environmental, they have eight items. In the physical domain, they mostly ask about the questions that include like energy, like uh, your energy, do we have like energy when you work and so on, like the sleep, about the pain, work and activity of daily livings. And in the psychological domain, they mostly uh, ask about the body image, body appearance, feelings, or any self-esteem or of the spiritual health and in the social part they cover about they ask about the social relationship or like the sex uh, life or the social supports from the family or from the caregivers and the environmental factors they mostly ask about the financial resources or financial stability or the home environments and the physical environment and the recreational activity so these covers they in the all these mentioned domains now let's come to the next slide. It is about the score response scales, like the response scale, the questions. Each item of WHO brief quality of life is uh, rated on the five point Likert scales with varying response option from very poor to very good, or some person have very dissatisfied or, or very satisfied or none to the, uh, to, uh, or none to an extreme amount, never, to always and not at all to complete depending on the nature of questions like you will come across this sort of this type of options when you every questions according to the question there is a different type of options so you can choose uh, uh, your patient or your uh, research uh, you, your partner can choose uh, from this but there is a small uh, note for you for you people when you when you are using the WHO quality of life you have to uh, keep in mind this note there is two items that are extreme examined separately like question number one and question number two they are they are examined or read separately from the from the all the 24 items they are uh, they are examined separately right from the 26 item you have to actually discover 24 items like physical psychological social environmental the other two questions they are uh, scoring separately now what is the ra ra scores ra score is actually the scores that you obtain directly from questionnaire from each items okay are calculated by summing the score of all items in the domain for example the score for physical health is the sum of the score for its all seven domain or seven items sorry okay now here also a small note uh, for you guys uh, for the for, for the raw scoring when you score the raw scores you have to keep in mind that question number three question number four and question number six they must be score reverse okay like for example the if the if you are the uh, the patient's uh, response it to one, so it will become five, right? 
if they if they response to the question is two so when you score them you add them you can uh, score them as uh, you and take it as a, as a four but if you if he write four so it will become two or five will become one so like it is the completely reverse if they uh, take the upper end you will take the lower end only for these three questions because these questions are phrases negatively okay now these are the chart for the raw scores for example for domain one you will uh, use the for the question three question four question 10 question 15 16 17 and 18 these are uh, questions are for domain one which is physical domain which includes these questions okay and for the psychological domain it's include these questions so we, you will sum up the, the the scores from these questions for example if they say two or you will hear two if here it is three or here it is five uh, it is again one or it is two or it is five so you add up all them together and write it here so it will be your raw score for each domain so so like uh, for, for each domain you, you you use the same procedure so write down the raw score here whether it is uh, whether it is 10 11 12 or anyhow how much it is so you will write it here so now let's how can we transfer it into zero uh, to hundred scale right final scoring a global scoring like transfer it to the uh, to the hundred scaling okay after summing the score the raw score are then transferred to the zero of hundred scales to make domain comparable okay the formula for this is like this is the main formula that i was searching for and no no one explained it yet uh, so the transfer is the raw score uh, you obtain for each domain right raw score for each domain for example i will explain it in the in the coming slide or the exhibit example right the raw score minus the lowest possible raw score okay divided by highest possible raw score my minus lowest possible raw score multiplied by 100 okay this formula you have to keep it in mind this is very uh, uh good formula i find it very difficult so you have to keep this uh, on, on record whenever you are using the virtual quality of life brief so this is the example with example you will understand it for the for example for the physical domain if the raw score is 20 obtained by the summing the score of seven items okay from the seven items you get the raw score of 20 so now let's transfer the 20 and 200 and 200 scoring system so 20 minus lowest possible raw scores is lowest score in the who quality of life and the given question is one okay so one for each item is one 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 seven so physical domain have seven questions so the lowest possible score is seven so 20 is the total score obtained from the patients minus lowest possible scores divided by highest possible score if they have seven items so seven fives are in there is each 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 item has five uh, five uh, five options five Likert scales so they have seven fives are 35 so 35 is the highest possible scores if they give five 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 to each seven question so you will get 35 highest possible scores again minus lowest possible score into 100 okay multiply by 100 sorry so the so uh, and uh, so you will get the score of 46.43 for the physical domain so you will again uh, do the same formula for the psychological domain for the social domain and for environmental domain and you get the uh, domain the uh, 100 and 100 uh, and the range of 100 for each uh, for each domains so now how will how how to do with this score how to interpret it so the higher the score the higher or more positive the patient quality of life is in that domain okay so you actually uh, categorize the each domain then find the raw score then convert it into 100 out of score so the hundreds and hundreds score you interpreted the higher the score the higher is the quality of life in that domains and now again there is a note for uh, for for you to uh, take care of uh, it when using WHO brief quality of life uh, for each domain range from 0 to 100 okay where higher score denote higher quality of life okay it is important to remember that this assessment tool doesn't provide specific cutoff point this is also the good point that i was searching for like most of the questionnaire when you when, when we use so there is a cutoff score for example if we are using Pearsburg sleep quality index so the cutoff score is five if the total score is 
if five or more than five, so it means the patient have poor quality of life. If they have less than, so it's good quality of life. But here, there is no cutoff point or cutoff scores. So specific cutoff point for the low or high quality of life because it is not designed to diagnose or cl classify any specific condition or disease. Instead, it gave us an overall measure of a person perceptions or quality of life. Okay, so like you will analyze it like the cutoff score is no cutoff score. So if the value is close to zero, so we will call it, it is the poor quality of life. Okay, or it is somehow near 50. So it is like comparable or average quality of life, but like not, not too good, not too bad. But if it is close to 100, so it means it is good quality of life. The more it closer, the more good has, it has quality of life. So it is like the interpretation of this accordingly. So thank you so much. This was uh, just a little uh, video about if you like it. So please uh, subscribe my channel and uh, like the video so that you don't miss any further videos uh, or informative video from my sites. Again, thank you so much for your time and uh, patience. Uh, see you in the next video.